I've already done a video answering the question, what is earned value management? But often the most important measure in earned value management is EAC, estimate at completion. So in this video, I'm going to answer the question, what is estimate at completion? The estimate at completion is the expected total cost of your project when all of the work is done and we make estimates at completion during the project. In this way, they are different in principle to the budget at completion, which is the estimate we make before the project starts. However, if all is going well and everything is happening as you expected in your planning process, then your estimate at completion will match your budget at completion. However, not everything will always go according to plan. So if your costs have drifted from plan, then you can calculate your estimate at completion by starting from the actual cost of the work performed to date and adding to it the estimate to complete your estimate of how much it will cost you to do the outstanding work. So our first formula is estimate at completion is equal to the actual cost of work performed plus the estimate to complete. The tricky bit is making that estimate to complete. And there are a number of different ways that we can calculate estimate to completion. There are many ways that we can calculate estimates to complete, but the first and arguably simplest is where we assume that all of the problems that have caused us to be over budget up to date have gone and that any work we do from now to completion will follow our original plan. As a result, your estimate to complete is equal to your budget at completion minus the budgeted cost of the work performed. And the budgeted cost of the work performed is equal to your earned value, or EV. So the first way that we can calculate an estimate to complete is to take your budget at completion and subtract your earned value. However, if you've been experiencing substantial levels of underperformance to date, then this assumption may be wholly inappropriate. It may represent a willful decision to ignore reality. What is it that makes you believe that all of the problems are behind you? The next way of making an estimate complete is to assume that the problems will continue in much the same form and therefore to much the same level as you've had so far. If you have no evidence that things will change, your first step in making your estimate to complete is to calculate your cost performance index to find out how well or how badly you've been performing to date. Now your cost performance index is the budgeted cost of work performed divided by the actual cost of work performed. Or put another way, it's your earned value divided by your actual cost. Now you can use this cost performance index to modify your previous estimate to complete. We can take the budget at completion minus the earned value and now divide it by the cost performance index. A little simple mathematical manipulation allows us to see that your estimate at completion is now your budget at completion divided by your cost performance index. That is to say, your estimate at completion has now risen from your original budget at completion by a factor of one over your cost performance index. Now, the implicit assumption in this is that your cost performance index will remain constant through the remainder of your project. The level of underperformance, the level of poor cost performance to date will continue at the same level. This, however, is not always going to be true. 
The most sophisticated approach uses both the cost performance index and the schedule performance index to modify our budget at completion to get our estimate at completion. Here, the formula that you need is that your estimate to complete is now equal to your budget at completion minus your earned value, all divided by your cost performance index times your schedule performance index. This is the most pessimistic formulaic approach that you can take. And it's an appropriate approach to take if you fear that things will just get a little bit worse and there will be more slippage as well as more cost overruns. Therefore, this represents the sort of estimate that you would make if you think that your performance will continue to deteriorate. But remember, the precision of an approach that uses a formula and a set of easy to calculate numbers belies the fact that this estimate to complete may be no more accurate than any other estimate. Precision is not the same as accuracy. Of course, the best thing may be to calculate your estimate to complete from completely new and fresh assumptions based on the situation you find yourself in. Most often, this is going to be done from a bottom up estimate that starts with all the tasks or activities that you need to do. So the formula, if it really is a formula, is that our estimate to complete is a new estimate to complete based on completely new work. So the question a lot of people may be thinking is, why do we have all this complexity? Why do we have all these different ways to calculate the estimate at completion and the estimate to complete? Well, the answer is, it all depends on the assumption that you make. But remember, the calculation of estimate at completion is simple. It's your actual cost of work performed to date, plus your estimate to complete. All we're doing now is trying to find an appropriate way to forecast how much it will cost us to do the remaining work, because we know precisely how much work we've done and how much that has cost us to date. And to figure out the best way of estimating that, we need to understand the causes of the level of performance we have to date. If everything has been stable and performance has been according to plan, then we're rocking. If, on the other hand, performance has been below expectation for a reason we understand and we fix that and we are confident we can work to plan, then that's a whole new assumption. But you have to ask, what is the evidence that we will not continue underperform against plan or possibly underperform to a worse level? And these different assumptions give us our different ways of calculating our estimate for completion. And if none of those estimates, and if none of those assumptions seem sound, the best thing to do is to prepare a brand new estimate to complete based on an understanding of the work to be done and the situation that pertains. Please do give this video a thumbs up and a like if you've enjoyed it and learned from it. I'll be creating loads more great project management videos for you. So do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of them. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.